All right, hey guys, it's uh, Jordan Wissinger for Doane University's Week 8 um, video presentation, interactive presentation. So this week we're going to be making instant ice with water. Um, so the idea behind this is we're going to take a bottle of purified filtered water unopened. You're going to stick it in the freezer for about two and a half hours, give or take a few minutes, and then pull it out. Uh, and then slam it, give it a knock, whatever we may do, and it should instantly freeze the ice. The idea behind this, just some quick background information. We know that <clears throat> with water at one atmospheric pressure, which is just the regular atmosphere that we have in, in our uh, in our Earth, uh, water freezes at zero degrees Celsius and boils at 100 degrees Celsius. And those change based on the amount of energy that's in the water. So with just the right conditions, we can uh, get the water to be what's considered super cooled, where it, um, it cools below its freezing point or the zero degrees Celsius but it's still a liquid and not a solid. So we have these three phases, solid, liquid, and gas. And what we're basically doing is cooling below that, uh, that liquid state, which should become a solid, but it's still a liquid. Um, and it's important to have filtered bottled water for this one, as uh, if you don't have filtered bottled water, you can have some particles in the water. And that acts as what's considered its nucleation point when that is where the ice crystals start to form. Um, so uh, the water must have a low enough energy, so that's why we put it in the freezer, to freeze and form its intermolecular bonds. So as we stick it in the freezer for the two and a half hours, it cools it down, takes the energy out of the water, and cools it down to below its freezing point. So uh, the water must have a nucleus to start forming, its nucleation site from there, um, and then the rest of the water starts to form the crystals around that nucleation site. So that's why um, uh, mineralized water, you can't really use that because the minerals inside the water can be its nucleation point. We can also have that nucleation point by having a bang with the water if it's below its super cold state, uh, and that should act as a good way to, to jumpstart the nucleation. Um, so like I said, that's why it's important to have the filtered water. So with that hard disturbance, disturbance of the bang, that can act as its nucleation point and starts its crystallization. So we have the water put in the fridge for about two and a half hours. It's pretty uh, pretty cool. Hopefully it's not frozen right now. It doesn't look like it's frozen. It still looks like it's a water. Um, so we're going to knock this water and hopefully the molecules will realign. Um, some of the molecules will align so it starts to form that nucleation site. Um, so what we're looking to achieve is the liquid's going to turn into a solid in its instant phase change. So as it, the water freezes, it forms into a crystallized pattern. So this is my first attempt. This had frozen. So we're trying my second bottle of water. Okay, right here. You can see it's still a liquid. So we're going to try this out. And I don't think it worked. So my guess is it's still just a little too warm. The only other thing I think we may possibly be able to try, I'm just going to impromptu here. It may still be cold enough though to take an ice pack, pour this water on it. freeze long. No, it's not. Okay. So, for me, this experiment failed. Um, <clears throat> why I believe it failed then is I did not, it is 24 ounce bottle of water, not the regular 16.9 ounce bottle of water. So the two and a half hours in the freezer probably was not as accurate as it should have been. Um, as well as not all freezers are generally put to the same exact temperature, so it could be wrong with that. So, with that being said, um, when likely its energy level was still too high, it was in a liquid state, and it did not get below its super cooling state, uh, below the zero degrees Celsius, for it to still be a liquid, but not freeze yet. So when I banged to create that nucleation site, it wasn't going to work because it wasn't cold enough as is to relearn the molecules and for it to start that nucleation site and form the ice crystals. So that was week eight. Thanks, guys.